The 40th anniversary of KKI has really provided us with an opportunity to remember, to give thanks. And as we've told the stories and looked at the pictures and reflected on all that's happened over these four decades, it's incredible. In fact, even though I was a big part of that, it seems almost you know, too much <laughs> to believe. Did those things really happen in all those amazing ways? Yes, they did. But here's the exciting part. The Lord is saying that's just the beginning. Now there's new steps of stepping into the promised land of our future with him, following closely behind the ark because we haven't been this way before. And so he's been challenging us to bring these things down, not just in our programs, but into lifestyle and how we are to develop kingdom lifestyle communities in different contexts within YWAM and the local church setting out in the community. And uh, we've been experiencing together here during a 40-day period that we've called Fortify, the incredible fruit of living these things out daily. We've been coming back to this matter of ministering to the Lord as our first and highest priority, but building altars to Him as a lifestyle and in ministry. The presence of God and what's been happening in our midst has given us a taste of what is to come. So I'm so excited that in our next step, steps as a KKI ministry, we can see these unshakable kingdom expressions established uh, within Youth of the Mission context and local churches and different settings that we will see, in fact, what Jesus promised in Matthew 24, verse 14. He said, and uh, in those days when the shakings and the opposition is growing, this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed in the whole world for a witness, and then the end will come. Uh, that we can be a part of a time in which we so prepare ourselves in our relationships with God and each other in our daily lives that God can command a blessing, a time of spiritual awakening, that we can be a part of preparing the peoples and the nations to welcome Jesus back. Wow, this is exciting. And we're looking forward to this time that intimacy will lead to multiplication as we take our steps with God. Asking our Heavenly Father where we were to gather for our International Leadership Assembly that would be celebrating our 40th anniversary. And uh, we sensed it was to be in Africa. In fact, he had spoken that to us years ago and that this was a time, but we didn't know where. And uh, as we continued to pray, we began to focus on Ivory Coast, but the facilities and everything here were so expensive for that kind of a gathering, we were stuck. So we were in a time of prayer, and as we prayed, I had a picture come to mind of a, an, an elderly African gentleman. And uh, he had white hair. And as I looked at this picture, I said, Lord, who is this? And the impression I had was, uh, he's a man of peace. Uh, he's somebody involved with the government. And he's actually involved in building a facility that, uh, that would really serve you well. And as I was continuing to pray, I saw this road sign, and it was a white sign with black and red letters on it, and I noticed just below there was a, a dirt road. So we passed on this impression to our KKI leaders here in Ivory Coast, in Abidjan. And they were here at this facility I'm sitting in right now, uh, having a camp. And during the camp, they met the man who owned it, and he was an older African gentleman involved with the government, and bing, you know, it connected for them. They began to talk to him. It was Papa Agure. And uh, as we continued to communicate with him, we discovered that his dream was that this place would be a place of spiritual renewal that, in fact, could serve the nations. Well, when I arrived and I came to this place, we passed the sign and I saw it there. It was the sign I saw in prayer and we came along the dirt road. And then we sat in the house with Papa Agre. And I said, Papa Agre, would you mind doing me a favor? Could you turn your head to the side, please? He said, why? And I said, because I, saw, I think I saw you in my prayer, and I want to see if it was exactly you. He turned his head, and my goodness, you know, it was exactly what I'd seen in prayer. And I thought, God, you're so faithful to lead us to the man and the place out of all the nations and we're so glad we know this place has been chosen by God and it's proved to be an amazing place of encounter with God. 
and a wonderful time of in engaging with this amazing man as well, Papa Agre. We're blessed and God is faithful.